Hey everyone. So I just wanted to show you how quickly this can go if you've got everything set up right for sorting your photos from the chaotic mess that's on the left side to your beautiful pristine core file structure that I've got set up here on the right side. So I actually created a, a demo photo hub and within that I have a set of yearly photos. Hold on, we can show you here. So here's my demo photo hub. You can see all of the years that I have um, created here. And within each of these year folders, we ac can actually drill down and you'll see a subset of monthly folders in there. So essentially the objective here is to move all of the photos that you've got in the mess into the appropriate folders over here in the organized core file structure. So let's start at the top here. I've actually started by sorting my files by date created and it depends on how you like to do it but we could do it um, ascending or descending. I like to do it descending. So I am going to go ahead and select everything that belongs in the November folders. I'm holding my shift key down here. I'm a Mac user. So I'm holding my shift key down and I'm just using my arrow key to scroll down through all of the November folder, or excuse me, the November images. And there we go, I've captured them all. So what we're going to do is move them over to the appropriate folder. So you can see these were all taken in November of 2014. Here's 2014, here's the November folder. I'll open that up and I'm essentially just gonna drag and drop. And there they are. So they've been moved from that initial chaos folder into the appropriate folder over here. So let's go back and see what we've got next. We've got some for October, so I'm gonna go back over here and get into my October folder, which is the 10 2014 folder. And then I just go back over and repeat that process that I just showed you a second ago. And I'll just keep scrolling down until you get to the October, the end of the October photos. Drag them over. All right, and what do we have left over here? I want to go ahead and clean out this source folder that's in the chaos. So the source folder is the iPhone 5S. So it's my husband's old iPhone, and all the the um, images that I downloaded from that into that source folder. So let's see if we can actually just go ahead and clear that out and it's going to be awesome if we do that. Then we can check one of these source folders off of our list. So again, I've captured everything for September. I go over and find the September folder, which is this one. And drag and drop. Turn the volume down, I know that's kind of annoying. And now we're moving into actually a different year. Oh no, nope. we've got a look. We've got one photo that is from t from August. Let's move that over. Now we're going into 2012. So I actually have to go back out, go into a new folder, new year folder of 2012, and I'm looking at folders from March. So I'm going to go down here open that March 2012 folder and highlight everything that goes into it. Looks like we were pretty busy taking tons of photos. Oh, I know why, because we were actually on spring break in Disney World and a couple of other places in Florida, so that was a very photo heavy month as you can see here. Goodness. Bear with me. I didn't realize how many were in this folder here. But these are all from our trip to Disney World, Sea World. It was a pretty, pretty fun trip with lots of um, memories to capture. So that's what you're seeing here is the consequence of that. So we're getting to the bottom. I've got them all. And yeah, 592. That is, that's a lot of photos. 
So actually, when we get into the weeks coming up, we're going to go through these photos and see if we actually have any duplicates, because my guess is there's some serious cleaning up that I can do with these photos in here. And so we'll be attacking that, um, I believe, next week in week six. So hopefully that was useful to show you how to do that. Pretty straightforward. You create those two windows. If you're a Mac user, you can get into your finder and just select file and then new finder window to create um, that secondary window so that you can have that easy view of both your core file file structure on the right and then your chaos folder with all of those various subfolders that contain the images from all the different source devices. So hopefully that was helpful.